outrage is growing this morning over a controversial request from the Pentagon. It involves cash bonuses given to service members, but now the military wants that money returned. NBC's Morgan Radford's in Los Angeles with more. Morgan, good morning to you. Matt, good morning. This story goes back to at least 2007 and involves nearly 10,000 men and women from the California National Guard. Now, they were recruited to join up at a time when the military desperately needed to bolster its ranks. And now the Pentagon wants that money back, even though some of those folks really aren't in a position to pay. When the military needed more troops to help fight wars in Iraq and Afghanistan, the California National Guard started handing out bonuses of $15,000 or more. This was from my first deployment. Robert D'Andrea served two tours of combat duty in Iraq, and now he's being asked to return his $20,000 bonus. Payment made in violation of federal law. What went through your mind when you first got that letter saying you owed money? Uh, anger. We didn't do anything wrong. We just stepped forward, we volunteered, we signed on the line, we did our duty, and now they're slapping us in the face for it. Thousands of soldiers like DeAndrea were signed up by military recruiters. In some cases, those recruiting officers knew the soldiers weren't really eligible for enlistment bonuses, but signed them up anyway. In 2011, a so-called incentive manager for the California Guard pleaded guilty to filing false claims totaling $15 million. Three other officers also pleaded guilty to fraud. Bonuses went from a small group of critical skills to almost everybody that was joining was eligible. So in a lot of instances, soldiers would get paychecks that were far and above greater than their normal pay. Rather than forgiving the bonuses, which were in some cases improperly handed out, the Guard assigned auditors to track down the money, saying in a statement, the California National Guard does not have the authority to unilaterally waive these debts. Even though those who signed up and got bonuses didn't do anything wrong, the auditors found a total of $37 million may have been wrongly paid out. Since the Los Angeles Times first reported the story, elected officials on both sides of the aisle have criticized the Pentagon and are now calling for change. Well, it's disgraceful that we would ever treat those men and women who came to the call of this country after 9-11 to put them in this situation. For people like DeAndrea, the relief can't come soon enough. Have you paid any of this money that they've requested? No, I haven't. I haven't. I don't plan on it either. I plan on winning. All right, well, a Pentagon spokesperson tells NBC News that the senior leadership of the department is looking very closely at this matter, adding that National Guard units in other states may also be facing the same issue. Matt, Savannah? All right, Morgan, thank you very much. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.